Hey folks, Jordan. It is my video diary. I am uh, sitting up in my hotel bed uh, because we are in a rush and I haven't even showered yet. We have to switch hotels. Actually have decided to stay here uh, longer. We're gonna stay here an extra two days, so kind of been scrambling to change flights and hotels and all that. Apparently everything has been sold out <laughs> uh, in terms of hotels and cars, so we might be sleeping uh, at the gas station, we'll see. However, um, I can't get into full details yet, but I might have uncovered some major, like capital C level corruption here um, that if I can get enough people on the record, might prove that, let's just say, the numbers they've been using to declare the water safe here in Flint, corrupt, not true, cooked, fake, throw in your adjective. Uh, so we're gonna stay here for uh, another few days, and frankly, I'll probably be just knocking on doors like an old school, journalist uh, trying to find out from different residents um, what their experience was as far as water testing. Everything I'm saying will make more sense when I eventually uh, do the report. But like I said, there was just almost like this eureka moment, this light bulb moment that went off yesterday as I was talking to uh, a resident here. Uh, myself, my business partner Jen and I were sitting at a table and I we started we called a resident to ask what they were told, how they were told to, to test their water. And when he told us that he was told to let the water run for four to five minutes before testing, our, all, our fucking, all our eyes like came out of its sockets because you're not supposed to run your water before you test. When you run the water for several minutes before you test, that, that, um, basically eliminates most of the lead and you get a lower lead reading because you've run the water. So I've already talked to at least two or three residents yesterday that they were told to run their water uh, before they test. Uh, so I want to see how many people were told because if many, many people were told to run their water, that means that the numbers that are being used to declare the water safe and also to shut down the water pods are probably not the accurate numbers. So that's a big reason we're staying. Uh, I want to share with you a little behind the scenes of uh, you just don't, you're not going to see this on the mainstream media, but I, I interviewed a woman yesterday. Her name's Christina Murphy, 37-year-old um, woman, uh, recently divorced. The first times uh, in the past that I interviewed her, I interviewed her with her then husband, now ex-husband, uh, here in Flint. And... I actually left my laptop at her house while I was interviewing her. I was also doing a little work on my laptop. So I went back to get my laptop uh, yesterday, uh, late at night, about 9.30. And um, she opened the door and I was just like, really, really um, upset, I guess is the word, you know? Like she opened the door and you could just tell, like she said, I'm, I'm having serious chest pains and like, the pain, her daily pain, she's having massive body pain from lead and other heavy metal contamination from the water. Uh, 37, serious pain all over her body, has to drink eight cups of coffee a day just to stay awake. Um, and I guess at night, it's worse for her. So when she opened the door, you know, she, she's got three kids and she had one of her kids' friends staying over. She's trying to put them to sleep. They won't go to sleep. She's having severe chest pains. I was saying to her, do you need to go to the hospital? And she was just, no, this is, I just get these almost every night. And um, this is what's happening in Flint. People are living with daily, you know, misery and just treading water, trying to stay afloat. And they're sick from the water, yet they're being told, well, your water's fine now. Um, it's just you have to be there and you have to speak to these people to see the human tragedy that's still unfolding. And that's why I keep coming back um, because, you know, I think as a journalist, of course, you want to break news and, um, you know, try to try and expose things. But, you know, I'm also a human, so I'm drawn to these people and I feel like they don't have a voice and there are no journalists really telling their story. I mean, I, I interviewed her yesterday 
part of that is up on the channel, youtube.com slash Jordan Sheridan Reports, and we'll have other parts up. But when you open a door and somebody looks like a shell of themselves and are pale and having chest pains and body pains and cognitively they, they have trouble just staying awake and processing thoughts, 37 years old, this woman, not old. Um, it just, you know, I came outside and went back in the car and I, I just, I told Jen, you know, I just feel for, I feel for these people um, because nobody deserves this. I probably wouldn't wish this on somebody I hate tell you the truth um, and this is what I'm seeing whether it's her other residents and now I, you know this is my 10th time here so now you kind of see the progression of the illnesses from like the first time I interviewed a lot of these people to like now two years later interviewing the same people they're sicker their cognitive function is worse uh, their mood swings are worse they're all of it worse and it's all not just lead, but other heavy metal contamination. They got bacterial issues here. I mean, it's, it really, it's a crime what happened to these people. But unfortunately, as of now, nobody's in jail. So that's, that's what's going on here. Uh, we, we're gonna be live again uh, throughout, throughout the weekend. Also, uh, since we're staying late, um, we also, you know, it's also costing more money. So we thank everybody who's been contributing. Uh, obviously, you contribute monthly on Patreon. Some of you have been contributing through my sponsorship page for this specific trip. So thank you so much. Uh, that would be jordancheridan.com slash sponsor, where you could leave, you know, five bucks, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Some people have been leaving 100, 250. Can't thank you enough. It's all to pay for, you know, the hotels and the, the flight, uh, rent a car. We just had to change the car to extend it get a new hotel for two more days so it's definitely adding up and unfortunately we don't have complete funding yet so uh thank you so much again if you could help jordancharitoncom slash sponsor bye